Guys, we got some exciting news. In case you didn't see our other social media blasts yet, which I'm sure you have, for those who haven't, it finally happened, okay? This whole thing right here. I don't even know where to begin. Let's start off with I the question, <laughs> first and foremost. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you would already know James, but for those of you who are new subscribers, this is Bay. I am Bay. This is Bay. Insert Bay Cam right now. So guys, yeah, we're just gonna kind of give you a background on, you know, how we popped the question and all that, and maybe briefly go into how we met, because I don't think we've ever talked about that. How we how we even linked up in the first place. How'd that happen? So if we're gonna be a married couple, we figured we'd start doing corny married couple things. So from here on out, we only match. That's it. Matching or nothing. We don't we don't step out if we don't match. So it just happened yesterday, okay? Monday, July 29th, 2019. And it just so happened to be uh, my father's birthday. Happy birthday, Pop. <laughs> Happy birthday, Daddy. We stole your thunder. We took a trip to the beach. It was all James' idea, obviously. I did not know what was going on. I didn't want to go to the beach because we are loaded with work mm -hmm. and we gotta hustle and I hate being sidetracked. And for somebody like me to turn down a beach trip, you know that, you know, a lot's going on, right? So anyways, he finally talked me into going and I really didn't want to go. The whole time I was just thinking of work and so it was a rough start to a day. I was kind of in a bad mood. So we're from Pennsylvania. We live about two and a half hours from the Jersey Shore. We go every year. Yeah, you know the, the Jersey Shore. Yeah, you know that show. Yeah, that's where we go. So, so we went to Seaside Heights because that's like our little thing that we do every year. It's a and spot. yeah, but I was so so beyond like aggravated because I was just trying to relax on the beach and you had like kids playing loud music and Seaside's just not the place you want to go if you want to relax for the beach and we know we know that now. <laughs> so it was like an outdoor frat house. It was it was bad. We we had a lot of cursing around us and a lot of uh like loud music. I couldn't even hear the ocean waves. That's how loud everything was. I thought so, for a Monday it'd be dead. That's it why was we chose not. Monday. <laughs> it's end of July. It was packed. We moved our spot about four times till eventually I said that's it, we're leaving. So we went, we got a slice of pizza on the boardwalk, which is usually amazing, oh. okay? Jersey pizza's the bomb, and the best I've ever had is on the Jersey boardwalk. For some reason, it was horrible. It was actually the worst slice of pizza I've ever had that I th had to throw half of it out, and this girl don't throw food out. Look yeah. at my face, I don't. It was weird. I actually couldn't eat it. It was so bad. It tasted literally like cardboard. Like they, they were missing about 20 ingredients. Anyways, this is a positive story, I promise. We're just painting the picture about how horrible it was. It to started us. off And meanwhile, rough. the entire time, I'm thinking to myself, as it's, the worse it's getting, the more I'm just like, how the hell am I going to pop the question now? She's literally fuming this oh, entire I'm day. I'm happy. I want to be real with you guys about everything because I don't want you thinking, oh, engagement, everything's perfect. The day's perfect when you get engaged. No. <laughs> Social media can paint certain pictures all the time with, you know, life being blissful. But the truth is, is Stay life woke. is life, man. You know, yeah, you you just, things happen, all right? So, no, the day started off real bad. He kept saying, let's stay, let's stay. So I was like, all right, all right. Oh, but I'm not it? staying at Seaside, I'm not. We wanted to go somewhere private, so we went to Island Beach State Park, which is like, I don't know, like, 20, 20 minutes, minutes. It's on, it's on. It's away from there. It's the same. Yeah, so we went that away and it was amazing. There was nobody there. It was a state park. So there's like no no obnoxiousness. It was just beach. We were the only ones there. It was beautiful. There was like maybe two other guys that were actually fishing yeah. like 200 yards from us. Exactly. Literally two football fields. We went through like this little forest. It was very, very magical actually. I'm gonna throw in some pictures mm -hmm. here and there so you can see. Once we got to the actual ocean, Nobody in sight. It was absolutely stunning. I was in my glory. It was beautiful. And I just laid and let the waves just hit and crash on me. And I asked her what she was thinking. I said, how you, how you doing? You feeling better now? Are you okay? Because I wanted to get the okay, you know, to be able to finally do it. And she's like, this is heaven. That's when I knew that was my cue. I was like, oh, just you wait. I think you even said, just you wait. I think you said that out loud. I, I forget. I was, oh, just you wait. He's not really, you know, 
What's the word I'm looking for? You're not like smooth. <laughs> he he gives things away a little bit. So I was like, what's that supposed to mean? So I'm sitting here getting crashed on by waves. He's like, just, huh, just you wait. I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? So he walks Sounds back. Creepier than it was. He like runs away, and I'm like, what does he have up his sleeve right now? What? I'd be lying if I said I didn't kind of know what the heck he was doing. <laughs> I kind of right then and there I said. Mm -hmm. He comes running back, I mean sprinting back over, like practically falling on top of me, gets on one knee, and in one fluid, one one quick sentence, one, one like straight sentence, no breaks, <laughs> he goes, Hey, I got a question for you, will you marry me? <laughs> you would think for being as close as we are for all these years, it would have been easier just to have it be like, this big romantic, you know, I would be real confident and stuff because I know her so well. He was nervous and it was <sighs> funny. I was, I stared at him for a hot second. Like, and I, like 20. She went for 20 seconds, this was her. Is this real? Is this real? Is this real? Is this real? Like, like one of those seagulls. You know, I had to sit here and like ask her again, like, so is that a yes or a no? Yeah, I forgot to answer. You're freaking me out a little bit here, you might. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to answer that question. I just was in disbelief. Part of me was like, thinking like, is this really happening? And the other part of me is like, just trying to like, stop the moment because it was like, you know, one of those rare moments that ain't gonna happen again. <laughs> then he said, so is that a yes? And then I realized I never answered. And then I said, you know, hell yes. <laughs> Obvi. She regretted it the minute. She said that. She's. Uh, I asked him if he regretted yes. it right then. I said, are you regretting this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was one of the first things you said. Mm -hmm. In one of the most magical moments of my life, the first thing she says is, are you regretting this? <laughs> that, Obviously no. I'm still in disbelief that anybody would ever want to marry me. I'm, I'm crazy, all right? Y'all already know that, so. No, but like in a dangerous way sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so that's how the magical moment happened. Yeah. It was beautiful. That was our, our day, and apparently my whole family knew, and his whole family knew. Everybody knew except for me. So, uh, yeah, that was that was the day right there. So this is the ring. How do I, this is the ring. Don't look at my botched up nails. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yep. We've been together for four years and ten months, in case you were wondering. We've been together for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It is true love. Yes, it is. We get really fed up with each other sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time, every day. But that's true love right there, yeah. So I needed a job <laughs> and I was looking around, looking around, applying to everywhere and my best friend, Jen, I love you girl, I love you. My best friend, Jen, was try helping me out, bring me around to try and find a job and I did not want a waitress because I waitress for a long time. I said no more waitressing and she said, but it's such good fast cash, like just just do it girl, just do it. And I was so against it, but she pushed me to do it, which I'm so glad she did. She brought me to a restaurant, Apple Valley restaurant. Milford PA, check it out. Yeah. And she basically said, all you gotta do is just go in and grab an application, that's all you gotta do. So I was like, all right, fine, you know, I don't want to do this, but I will. Went in and right off the bat, I loved the people that worked there. They were different than anybody else, like other people I've ever worked with. They were so down to earth and unbelievably sweet that instantly I clicked and I felt like at home. So now you take over. This is me walking in for an application. So here I am, right? I'm a 21 year old bus boy. I'm covered in schmuck and food and gross grease. Mm -hmm. And I'm busting a table, right? And I look up, and about 40 yards in the distance, at like the front of the restaurant, I have a direct sight to her standing there. And it's the first time I ever laid eyes on her. And she threw her head back and was laughing. Corny laugh, now I know, like a, a nervous laugh. But she was like laughing at something. And instantly in that very moment, seeing her laugh, I fell in love. 100% game over no matter what it was done so I'm not the kind of person that would ever like approach a woman and like I guess you could say hit on her <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever. that's not my thing it's not my style I don't want to come off weird or disrespectful but I knew in this very moment I was like I need to show my face to this woman right now 
I'm three and a half years older than him. <sighs> Background story. Go ahead. Yeah. So I walked up and there was a group of people around her, right? Because wherever this woman goes, she has a habit of attracting a crowd. Don't listen so to it's true. There, people were all gathered around talking to you and stuff. And they were, t as I walked up, I, the conversation was about like being able to wear like a skirt, yeah. you know, in the restaurant as like part of the uniform. And so I kind of walked into the conversation and said, oh yeah, the first thing I ever said to her, they won't let me wear a skirt though. I'm trying to be funny, right? And she gave me a sympathy laugh. Um, but so unfortunate, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so immediately off, off the bat I said, this guy's super good looking. <laughs> He must work out, and uh, I said, and I think he might be... She thought I was gay. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, and I don't judge. LGBTQ all day, baby. But, that's just what I thought. Yeah. Straight she... up, I said, okay, alright. You know, I assumed, my bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he begged <laughs> the manager to hire me, Dave McHenry, who we love. Yes, we do. And, um, oh, that job was... Phenomenal. We made so many like lifelong friends there and it was just the best job. We worked yeah. together We got along for the most part and um, it's yeah, it's where we met man Milford PA baby So not even a month later. I think you asked me out on my first date mm. and it was for bowling <laughs> I asked her out to go bowling. I hate bowling. I'm so not... do I <laughs> <laughs> So I said sure and then the day we were supposed to meet up to go bowling um, the manager called me and asked if I wanted to work, and I said, yeah. <laughs> and I blew him off. I'm sorry. But yeah, I said, look, I needed a job, and I'm not about to ditch work right now and ditch my hustle that's going on right now for somebody I just met. No offense. Okay, this girl, she got to make her money. That's right. So yeah, I said, I was really nervous, and I asked my dad. I said, oh, but I made this date with this guy. And my dad said, my daddy's words of wisdom, he said, if this guy is worthy enough, you know, he will not mind you breaking the date. He'll be supportive of that. And so if he does mind and he gets angry, he's not worth it. It's as simple as that. I said, yeah, you're right, dad. You're right. And he was so sweet about it. He was so, so sweet about it. So I was like, oh, this guy's different. <laughs> I want to be honest with you. When I first met him, I thought he was fake because he was so sweet and I've never ever met like a gentleman. Before him, I swore off men. Just FYI, I swore off men in general. Just, I said, I'm boycotting relationships. I want to be alone. And I was fully content with being alone because I simply wanted Prince Charming in the flesh. That's right, your girl's picky. I got freaking standards. And I said, if it ain't Prince Charming, then it's nobody. <laughs> it's ironic because I remember telling my BFF Jenny, that I wanted Prince Charming in the flesh, and she said, good luck, you know, it's hard to find, rare, and I said, well then, then I'm single for the rest of my life, I'm cool with that. I met James, and I thought he was, he was so kind, like, I would go pick something up off the ground, he would, like, put his hand out to lift me up, he would open doors for me, car doors, he's that kind of guy, okay? He's so sweet and so gentleman-like, like an old-fashioned, like, just perfect man. If you could picture a perfect rounded man. I mean, he fits the criteria for every single solitary thing in this world. That I, I mean, honest to God. He's got the most amazing family, first of all. Like, they are so unbelievably amazing that I'm so fortunate to be now officially getting to be a part of the family. They are all, I see where he gets his gentleman, you know, characteristics. I see where he gets his respect for women. Just all of that comes straight from his family, okay? An amazing family. His immediate family is amazing. His external family. Everybody. Just the whole big circumference of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Equals one big, warm, big. loving, beautiful Italian family. Italian Irish. <laughs> Just amazing, just absolutely amazing. So honestly, when I met them, I was like, oh my God, game on. Like, I, this is the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. So. And vice versa, of course. I couldn't be happier, really. I couldn't be happier and more grateful. I feel very, very fortunate and I don't know. I can't even explain it, but um, he's Prince Charming in the flesh and nothing's ever changed since then. I said, all right, this will wear off after six months of dating. Never has. <laughs> he's rare. He's just rare. And ladies, if you're watching and you're like, you know, unhappy with men and stuff in your life, you gotta just 
get rid of them. <laughs> You, it's okay to have high standards. If mm -hmm. a guy isn't treating you right how mm -hmm. you deserve to be treated, know your worth mm -hmm. and don't settle for anything less because Prince Charming's out there somewhere, so don't waste your time if he's not Prince Charming. Mm -hmm. There's a man out there that could be everything and more for you. So, that is what this man right here is and um, I'm unbelievably lucky. Aw, come here. Okay? I love you. I love you. It's a full package. Yes, guys, that was it. I think this video is getting long enough, so we're gonna throw in the towel on it. We will let you know what's going on once future arrangements are made. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. And um, we'll see you in our next video. Yes, we will see you in our next video. We love you guys so much. Thank you. Mwah. Bye.